my name is Gülay Özkan. I'm based in Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, now I'm with uh, Eric uh, Migikowski. I mean, he recently uh, raised uh, 10 million US dollars at Kickstarter with his e-paper watch. So right now we are at the Verbrazi uh, event in Istanbul, and uh, Eric is with me and uh, to show actually his first uh, prototype, right? Yes, that's and, correct. Yeah. And you're just uh, flying from uh, China, right? Yep, we're working uh, with some manufacturing partners there, and right now we're just working to build our 85,000 Pebble watches for our Kickstarter backers. I just uh, listened to the panel. It was really very exciting because uh, I said you are talking about fifth platform. I mean, after uh, the TV, uh, laptop, uh, iPhone, and the tablet, it sounds like you are talking about fifth platform, right? I think that's fair. I think that, you know, in our daily life, we carry around maybe a laptop, a smartphone, and some people have a tablet. But I think when you leave the house or when you get up in the morning and leave the house, one of the things that a lot of people put on is, is a watch. And I think that that means that's an opportunity for us to sort of add some intelligence to the wristwatch and see, see where that goes. One of the really cool things about Pebble is that developers and, and users can write their own applications for the watch. Just like how people write apps for, for their smartphone or for iPhone or something like that, you can also do the same thing with Pebble. So it's not so much of a watch that you go to the store and you buy and then it's finished. You can actually have it improve over time as you install new apps or, or write new apps for the watch yourself. It was very exciting. It means that the you'll create a, a new ecosystem around this uh, platform. So uh, is it going to be open to all application developers, for, for example, from uh, Turkey, Middle East, they can be all? Of course. That's one of the really cool things about Pebble is that it's, uh, it's, it's universal. I mean, you just download the SDK and, and you get started writing apps. Um, at first, I think we're, we won't be able to support all of the Arabic character sets but we're working hard to be able to have these features come over time um, so that people all over the Middle East would be able to use Pebble with their smartphones like iPhone or Android. We know that uh, how difficult, uh, I mean, starting a hardware-based startup. Uh, basically, for example, how much did it cost to uh, produce uh, one watch? We're basically spending as much money as it takes to make the best watch possible. So. You know, we're not cutting any corners. We're we're making sure that it's it's quality, and we basically want to make it as awesome as as we. You decided the market price. Yes, it's a uh, 150 US dollars. That's right. And uh, you were mentioning that uh, there was a hacker crowd uh, when you started the company. Did they help you anything about the starting this idea or building the product? We work really close to a hacker space called Hacker Dojo in uh, in Silicon Valley and going down there every every week to to meet with other people that are working on other hardware projects that's been really helpful to us because it means that even though we're running into some problems you know as normal other people have faced some of these similar problems and we're able to work together to solve them i think that yeah we would not be where we are today without you know working with the community we heard about you after your kickstart success and uh, but before kickstart uh I mean, did you have any investors uh, approached you? We worked with, so I, I'm originally from Canada. I went to school just outside of Toronto. And we originally got our start in Canada. We, we raised a small amount of money from my parents and from friends and family. Um, we did raise money when we moved down to Silicon Valley. We raised from a couple angel investors that were extremely pleasant to work with. They, were, they went out of their way to help us. But unfortunately, we just weren't able to find a large enough investor to to help us get to the point where we could make Pebble into a sort of commercial success. So that's when we, you know, after we failed to find Series A funding, that's when we decided to uh, to go to Kickstarter and. So Kickstarter transformed the opportunities. Yeah, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have been able to do what we've done without Kickstarter. How about now? Do you have any investors approaching? And uh... we've had a few, but. At the moment, we're uh, you know we're good. I think we're our plan is just to make watches and and make something that people want. Thank you. Thanks very much.